expand and simplify x minus 4 cubed. So this is just going to require a little bit of effort. x minus 4 cubed is the same thing as x minus 4 times x minus 4 times x minus 4. And this is where we can just focus on one part first, multiplied by this factor here. And we just have to be familiar with FOIL, F-O-I-L, FOIL first. Multiply this by this. Outside, you multiply this by this. And then it's going to be the inside, this times this. And then L stands for last. Multiply this times this. Being careful about our signs. So just focusing on the first two factors, I'm going to solve for this within the square brackets times x minus 4. So using FOIL, we have x squared. We have the outside. It's going to be negative 4 times x is negative 4x. We have the inside, which is another negative 4x. And the last is negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So we can clean this up. I'm just going to rewrite negative 4. Negative 4 is negative 8. So this is negative 8x. And this is where we can just use some distribution. This is my first number times this, this times this, this times this. Then I'm going to work on this times this, this times this, this times this. So let's focus on this x first. So this is equals to x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 8x is negative 8x squared. x times 16 is positive 16x. We have the second part, negative 4 times x squared is negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times negative 8x, this is going to be a positive 4 times 8, 32. And then it's going to be an x. And finally, negative 4 times positive 16 is going to be a negative. So double, there's double 16 is going to be 32. Double it again is 64. So 4 times 16 is 64. We're going to gather all the like terms. We only have one x uh, cubed. I'm going to look at all my squares. So this is uh, these are the ones I'm underlining. And then I'm going to try to gather my x's. So the, this one looks like a triangle here. I'm keeping the sign. And then finally, squiggly line, we have a number. So we have x cubed going to look at all the squares. We have a negative 8, negative 4 is negative 12x squared. Positive 16x, positive 32x is going to be 48, positive 48x. And uh, finally, negative 64. So when we look at the available choices, uh, what we have here is choice A is correct.